slash floral event, <laughs> right? Yeah. Well, today, an education commission recommended some sweeping changes to high school graduation rules in New York State, and their findings were made to the Board of Regents this morning. To your sides, Dave McKinley reports now that one of the chief findings were that Regents tests and other exams were, quote, no longer sufficient assessments for graduation. Right, Dave? Yeah, this was one of 12 recommendations made by this panel, which insisted these recommendations are not aimed at lowering standards. However, they do propose eliminating many of the standards that have been used for years to determine if a student has proficiently mastered subjects. Among the recommendations doing away with the once prestigious Regents Diploma, everyone would get the same one now. Among the questions raised about that... How do we maintain the quality of the New York State Diploma? The commission did not recommend dropping the region's exams entirely, but it says students should get to choose their classes with more electives like theater or personal finance and then demonstrate proficiency in whatever way works best for them. In recent years, many students in the public school system were unable to earn a diploma because they couldn't pass the regions. But this aim to give students more ways to graduate does not please longtime Buffalo parent advocate Sam Radford, who reacted today much the same way he did last year amid a proposal to lower passing grades for the regions to meet the same end. You're going to be an attorney. Um, you're going to have to pass an exam to be an attorney. They ain't going to give you, they ain't going to say we're going to just, you know, we're going to decrease the standard for being an attorney and just give you your know, attorney's license. The panel also recommends more of an emphasis on career and technical education. All well and good, said one Regents member, if you ignore the reality between city schools and those in wealthier suburbs. There's huge disparities there. How can you ensure, or how are we going to ensure, that we have a responsiveness within the systems that serve those city school students. Uh, one of the things that we asked of the Blue Ribbon Commission was to tell us the what. Just tell us what they thought we should do. And then it would be our responsibility moving forward to figure out the how. Which is apparently going to take some time to figure out. Some of it is going to have regulatory, financial, it's going to have professional development attached to it. Another way of saying that is it's going to take state ed some time to assess how much the recommendations would cost to implement, if education law would need to be changed to allow for them, and how much you'd have to prep teachers in the new ways of assessing students. That means the changes have adopted may be a year or so away from even starting to be implemented. Uh, by the way, New York State is one of only seven states that still require students to pass exams to receive a high school diploma. On your side, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.